sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management. Hi, I'm Chris Lopez, technical marketing engineer for Catchpoint. For this tech tip, we're going to look at more ways you can integrate Catchpoint alert data into your existing tool ecosystem. In this new distributed workforce, people are using more SaaS applications than ever, and it's important to identify where you can consolidate data and how you can improve your key workflows, in this case, the ones for your support team. ITSMs like ServiceNow, ShareWell, and Zendesk are very popular among IT support teams. But when your key performance metrics center around your ability to resolve and close tickets, finding ways to eliminate manual, repetitive tasks can translate into a lot of business value in the long run. So my objective today is to show you how to feed Catchpoint Alert data into ServiceNow, a common ITSM, and show you how Catchpoint's Alert webhook is going to automatically generate a ServiceNow ticket without the need for human intervention. So over the course of this video, we're going to cover general purposes of ITSMs and how they've created choke points inside of your support workflows, how to set up this integration between Catchpoint and ServiceNow from scratch, and what it's going to look like when Catchpoint begins sending alert data to create a ServiceNow ticket. Let's hop in. So what's the deal with ITSMs and why does their process need to improve? Well, IT service management tools or ITSM for short, they're how your support team organizes and collaborates during incident response. Every day your support team is hopping into their ticketing tool and handling both a rush of new tickets and a backlog of old ones. On average, your typical team is going to be getting around 500 tickets per month. And over three quarters of the support teams have formal service level agreements. So in an ideal setting, you'd want to equip these guys with all the tools they need to optimize their incident response and handle new cases just as smoothly as they handle their backlog. However, this is not always the case. A lot of time spent resolving issues is dedicated to manual, repetitive tasks like filling out incident tickets, correlating data, and documenting it. Automating these aspects of your service desk are crucial because there's basically no way to avoid them, and they eat up valuable time in the day. In fact, when the average incident response of a new ticket is a little bit over 24 hours, before data consolidation even occurs, it indicates that these teams are swamped in a continuous grind of incident resolution. Obviously, not violating your service level agreements is a main goal, and that's easily quantifiable, but it's just as important to consider the customer experience too. In fact, businesses in the US lose billions of dollars per year due to poor incident resolution and overall customer support. So with this being said, how are we going to improve this process? Well, we're going to take an instance of ServiceNow and we're going to plug Catchpoint's alert webhook into it. When we do, Catchpoint alerts are going to automatically generate new ServiceNow tickets with information relevant to the problem at hand. By eliminating manual aspects of this process and providing data from Catchpoint itself, your team's going to be able to spend more time resolving the problem and less time on the ramp up. So let's take a look on how to set it up and then what each of these tickets are going to look like. Here, I'm inside Catchpoint's API section on the client division that I want to get data from. Now, I totally understand how APIs can scare away a lot of people, but this process actually involves our alert webhooks, which you may have seen in our Slack video. I won't go over all of it here, but webhooks are basically a more convenient version of an API that triggers in response to an event rather than something that has to query a server multiple times in order to pull data. Setting this up is actually very simple, and you'll be able to do it inside of 60 seconds. Don't believe me? Let's count. First, we'll need to give it a name, and then we'll have to input the URL of the instance of ServiceNow that we're using and point it specifically at where we want the incident ticket to be generated. Then we're going to go ahead and use a template that's actually available on the Catchpoint support site in order to link your uh, Catchpoint Alert webhook with your specific instance uh, of ServiceNow. In a nutshell, it defines what data Catchpoint's gonna send to ServiceNow when it receives an alert. Then we're gonna give it someone to contact in case there's a failure alert. And then we're gonna head on to the request parts of this. Now, these areas are straightforward. We'll just need to add three fields, accept, authorization, and content. For accepting content, we'll just need to put application and JSON to match our template. And for authorization, you'll be putting an encoded version of your username and password. Now, obviously, this is a video on the internet, so I'll just show you the format here. And then we're going to click Save. And look at that, we had some time to spare. But this leaves the question, 
what exactly did we just accomplish? Right? How does this alert webhook connect to all the issues that surround most existing ITSM platforms? Well, to answer that, we'll need to wait until an alert comes in from our Catchpoint SaaS platform and then navigate to the instance of ServiceNow. Our alert webhook has generated a brand new ticket with information related to the problem at hand. Now in context, if I wanted to create a new incident from scratch, we'd be making the engineer do all the work that the webhook just did for us. Take, for example, the idea that the ramp up to an incident takes a significant amount of time. I'd say even as much time as working through the incident itself. The process of fact finding, data gathering, etc., is a lengthy process that is prone to errors and holdups. So if we're capable of eliminating even half of that startup time, let's say 25% of the average incident resolution time, which according to Metric Net 2020's report was eight hours, and if the company is getting 500 tickets per month, then you've just saved your entire support team a thousand hours of manual labor they otherwise would have been doing. And that's a lot of screen time getting burned up for no good reason. Thanks to the flexibility of webhooks, this kind of implementation can occur across any ITSM that supports a RESTful API. Sharing data and functionality between your support systems should be a priority for you and your team. And with Catchpoint, there's a lot of ways to integrate critical, granular alert data into your key support tools and workflows. I'd love to go into more of them, but that's all the time we have for today. So thanks for stopping by. See you next time. Sponsored by Catchpoint, the leader in digital experience management.